All right, Katrina, I had to, I'm had to. i gonna have to send you two different videos. I just got a phone call, so it completely interrupted what I was doing. Okay, so I'm still blending. I'm sorry. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Blender Buddy back out. This is this cute little pouch that he comes in. So cute. And I'm just going to run it right like a diagonal. So it kind of cleans up that eye. Gets it all from underneath and on the side where I don't really want it. Budimus. Okay, some mornings I will use my Limelight by Alcone Perfect Eyeliner right above my lid, but today I'm not doing that. Usually when I go neutral, I don't put the eyeliner on the top. I just wear my mascara and call it a day. But I do want to show you this is my lip liner still lived over from the shower this morning. Like, I can't get it off. Um, so, I'm just going to show you what our liner can do. So, you can do, like, a thin line. Or you can go really thick. Okay. And I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to show you our um, eyeliner is completely smudge proof. Actually, I think I kind of showed you that actually at the party. I still had it left on. <laughs> okay. So before you put on your mascara, you got your finishing spray. Before you put on your mascara, you want to spray your face, okay? And I'll tell you why in just a second. Again, you don't have to use that much, but I do. <laughs> okay, so putting on your finishing spray before you put on your mascara is very important. Okay, so our mascara has fibers built into the gel. So in order for you to make sure that they do not separate throughout the day and the like flakes will fly on your face, which is so annoying because I've done it before. Um, put this on before because what happens is the finishing spray actually like, um, I guess separates the gel and the fiber so it can land on your face, okay? Just making sure I'm digging my look. <laughs> All right, so I take my lash curler. This is something you don't have to do, but this is me. I'll curl my lashes first. Okay. Take my mascara. One coat, ladybug. One coat. Okay. Look at that already. Hello. Hello, lashes. This is why I don't have kids. Because <laughs> I have dogs that drive me absolutely insane. Okay, it's a one coat. Look at those lashes. Hello! Alright, and you. Ooh, I got a little mascara up there. That's right, I'll show you how to fix that. Because <laughs> I make mistakes all the time. So you do not have to coat your bottom. Roxy! Knock it. Hey! Oh my god. They're giving me a headache. I need, I need coffee. <laughs> okay, so I put it on my bottom lashes. You don't have to. It's personal preference there. Okay, just a little tidbit for me to you as well. Okay, so Roxy. Okay, this little tidbit for me to you. When your mascara gets cold, it starts to get clumpy, okay? So if you leave your house like kind of chilly or whatever, um, just letting you know if your mascara gets cold, then it'll be a little clumpy, okay? So if you feel like it's clumpy, then warm it up before you put it on. But I mean, look at the difference. <laughs> mascara, no mascara. Mascara, no mascara. Like, hello, eyes. Good morning. <laughs> okay. So, I'll just do this eye really quick for you. So, you can just do one coat. 
Now, if you want to put on multiple coats because you want, you know, a little bit more volume and a little bit more drama, then by all means, go for it. I do it sometimes um, with my, like, if I was to put eyeliner on the top of my lid, then I would do a second coat of, of mascara. But that's just because I feel like when I have liner on the top of my lid, it kind of takes from my lashes a little bit. And this eye hates me. This is my difficult eye. I think everybody has the one eye that like is easy for them and that one eye that's like really hard. This one is really hard. Ah. And it's okay if you make mistakes. I just made another one. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get off. See that? <laughs> I know I should have locked him up upstairs. <laughs> okay. All right, so mascara is on. All right, so I do two different things, okay, to get it off of my face. Number one, if I get it in my eyeshadow, I just take my dome blender and I just blend it out. You got to wait for it to dry, but once it dries, it'll come right off. Okay, this one is up past my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna use my blender buddy. And just take the corner. See, it's gone right here. Gone. <laughs> so, I make mistakes all the time, so it's okay. <laughs> all right, and then, last but not least, we're gonna throw on some lippy. Okay, so, oh. Oh no! My liner just like, bit the dust oh my gosh i used it all already no way there's no way hold on one second like i know myself god did i use it all already hold on a second <laughs> see what happens sometimes ah. yep my liner has bit the dust Let's see, I got a teeny tiny piece out of it. Ah, okay, so our liner is retractable, okay? <laughs> it's creamy, so you can actually use it as an all-over base and throw like a little gloss on top of it if you want to. Isn't this so cute? <laughs> so bling bling. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna do liner and then enduring lip color. And you don't have to use liner. I mean, you really don't. It's just a personal preference for me. Keeps me inside the lines. <laughs> All right, so this is Enduring Lip Color. This is our number one color. This is um, Macaroon. So it's our perfect shade of nude. 